by the raise of hands. I have four children here, and you know, it's on our minds. Like, how do we keep our children as safe as possible? Protecting the kids, that's why this Jewish day school in Clifton applied for a federal security grant to install surveillance cameras, beef up the perimeter where gates don't even completely close. Rabbi Isaac Kagan says they want to strike a balance, not go to extremes. One parent mentioned something about putting up barbed wires and, you know, somehow providing guns for certain, you know, staff members in certain places. So we don't want to go that route. We want it to be a school. But at the same time, there's plenty that we can do that will, you know, fortify this structure. And the school got $72,000 from the U.S. Department of Homeland Security to help pay for it. Clifton Haters, among 58 New Jersey nonprofits, most of them Jewish, sharing $4.3 million in federal security grants this year. That's more than double last year's $1.9 million awarded to 27 groups. Jersey's Office of Homeland Security helped them fine-tune grant applications. Showing that there's a threat against their facilities or in their, their faith in general, showing that there are gaps in security in their facilities. So we require them to do a facility assessment mm -hmm. to understand sort of from the outside in where their vulnerabilities and gaps are. For the Jewish Federation of Northern New Jersey, it's the surveillance cameras. They got a $75,000 grant. For us, the thing is without the help of the government, we couldn't pull this off because the expense is incredible. I think in the end the government knows they're saving money by making our, our you know institutions more secure. Shamas is well aware the Anti-Defamation League logged 137 reported anti-Semitic incidents in Jersey last year and this May a jury convicted Lodi resident Anthony Graziano of terrorism for firebombing a Rutherford rabbi's home in 2012 after buying the ingredients at a local Walmart. The hate crime rattled Shamas and Jewish congregations congregations across the state. They targeted this rabbi and his family. I mean, when you throw a Molotov cocktail into someone's bedroom, that's taking it to a whole new extreme. The Federation remains hyper vigilant of their surroundings. Why is that truck parked across the street? Um, whose car is that? So you get like a, a couple of minutes where the adrenaline <laughs> kind of rushes through. And then afterwards, you look back and you say to yourself, you know, wow, I mean, I know I reacted with uh, DEFCON 5, and thank God none of it has been serious. A security camera upgrade isn't cheap, but these security grants do buy enhanced safety and some peace of mind. In Paramus, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.